So for the awareness for the week, we have the two of wands. And in this illustration, we see the man staring out into the distance. He is holding a globe. He's holding the world in his hands. And beyond his little patio is a door to the wide, the wide unknown. So you have the mountains, you have the water. And so this is a card really where you're thinking about what's next for you. You're considering uh, everything going on in your life right now and you are deciding what's your next path. Will you travel? Will you start a new business? Are you interested in relationships and finding the perfect soulmate? Are you trying to improve your skill set at work? This is the thinking planning stage where you are in this early, uh, early situation of creation and manifestation. So, you know, here you are, you have the world in your hands and you're thinking about what, where's life going to take you next? And uh, twos often deal with decisions and so you may be having to weigh leaving something behind or how it's going to affect your family or your friends or your relationship. But you're certainly, your mind is thinking about where you're headed and where you're going to, what you're going to be doing and what do you hope to do. And you know, with the wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it's about the pursuit of your passions, of the things that excite you and that you're enthusiastic about doing. So, as you've been thinking about things, here's the Nine of Cups. And in this illustration, we see the man here, arms folded. He sits below his Nine Cups. And he's feeling pretty good about life. This is a card of feeling content, of feeling satisfied with what you've built, what you've accumulated perhaps, what you've created. Could be spiritual, could be material comfort. But you're enjoying what you have and maybe behind the scenes there was some hard work or sacrifice to get to this point and now you can just kind of relax and enjoy what you have. This card is also thought of as a wish card, a wish fulfillment card. So make a wish and we will see if it uh, comes true but it's certainly favorable to come true. So now, whoops, I put two cards, two cards for guidance. So we have the Page of Swords, and when we see pages, it can represent someone who's young, someone who's inexperienced with the world, hasn't quite grown up and needs more experience in, in dealing with life. Could represent someone within your circle, maybe a family member, someone that you work with, a friend. And with swords, we have air energy, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And in this illustration, you see the, the page is, almost looks like he's in a ready for, ready for anything position. He's standing, he has a sword drawn. The wind is blowing his hair back. He's looking over his shoulder. Almost looks like a baseball pose, like he's getting ready to take, take a swing. So with swords and with these gray clouds, you get a sense that maybe he needs more experience in dealing with adversity or challenges. And this can be a card saying, be prepared that you may face an obstacle along the way this week. And you need to be in position to be able to work through it. And you're going to work through it with your mindset, with your rational thinking, your logical thinking using your smarts in order to, to face any kind of bump that you may encounter. So the page stands ready. Pages also could be messages, offerings, opportunities. But I, I get a sense here that this is um, a message to be prepared for whatever is happening and that when you are aware when you are poised and when you're focusing on using uh, you know, intelligent thinking, which is focused on facts, which is focused on what's really there in your discussions, in your, uh, you know, your work with others, 
that you will be fine. This page is very earnest and more than likely wants to deal with truthfulness and getting to the heart of the matter when it comes to being truthful and honest. Honest decisions, honest problem solving. So interesting card sitting next to the Knight of Pentacles. So this Knight of Pentacles, he is at rest with the horse. He's holding on to his pentacle. He's looking downfield, looking at maybe his fields and getting a sense of, you know, how does it look? This is the hardworking Knight of Pentacles who has his head down, who's following the plan, who is doing exactly what, what he's been asked. There's a sense of loyalty here and just really hard work. The Knight of Pentacles is not the flashiest of all the knights, but he is solid. He's got the grounded pentacle en energy of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And he's going to maybe outwork some of the members on the team, if this is a team dynamic. He's going to bring leadership, and he's going to be informed as well. He's going to have come to any meetings, um, anything that you're doing. It's basically saying, come prepared. Be prepared. Be mindful and be prepared. And that's going to set you up for success. And now let's take a look at possible outcomes. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords. And you know, what do you see? You see someone, again, looking over his shoulder and walking away with five swords, leaving behind two swords. This can be a card of deception. This can be a card of trickery, of someone um, strategizing perhaps and maybe strategizing against you. This could be the little be prepared that maybe someone has a hidden agenda or they're simply trying to pull one over you and trying to take advantage. So whether this in a relationship, perhaps someone's being dishonest with you, work relationship, love relationships, could be, if it, if, again, if I'm looking at work, it could be that someone's trying to take credit for your work or trying to somehow, again, pull something over on you in order to gain an advantage. So the Page of Swords would tell you to be prepared, be mindful to protect yourself, use your head, use your smarts. If someone is talking a, a good game, you need to maybe think about their actions and how they align with words. Maybe dig beneath, you know, dig beneath the surface a bit if you can. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving. So if you need support, if you're one of these folks here who needs support, ask for it. More than likely, people are willing to help. If you're in a position to be able to help someone else, then help. This card is about kindness and consideration, and it's about the, you know, the uh, suddenness of life, that one day you're in a position to give. And then just as quickly as, as the wind blows, you could be in a position where you need assistance. So give when you are able to give. If you need support for a situation, particularly with a trickster or someone who is trying to take advantage, uh, then go for it. Ask a boss, ask a coworker for a second opinion or to, you know, to listen to your thought process. So as I'm looking at your cards for the week, you know, we don't have any major arcana cards. We have the, the daily grind here, the daily life picture with the minor arcana. So these are things that, are, uh, that you deal with and then you kind of move on. And so thinking about the big picture, wish fulfillment, being prepared, perhaps someone trying to pull one over on you, 
Again, hard working energy. Uh, here's also being prepared, being ready, accumulating your resources. Hopefully, you have your eye on your resources, and this person can't be, you know, you have to keep. Uh, looking and seeing if they're if they're coming after your resources so again a lot to be thinking about we see wands what we don't see is we don't see cups the emotional piece so let's get a little more information from the oracle cards and this will be a meditation point or focus area for the week Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Crossing bridges. Hmm. So healing comes after a hard time, you know, a struggle. If there's a struggle, you're going to have to be ready to deal with it on your terms in the way that works best for you. And with the page here, it's about uh, using your head, being smart, being analytical, looking for the truth, others in dealing with, uh, with mending from healing may you know, rely on groundedness and, and pragmatic and common sense, just using your common sense to help you get through. So very interesting for the week. Now let's get a sense of some more information on your spirit or emotional self. You know, and something just popped into my mind is that often Seven of Swords to me can suggest that maybe someone is trying to take credit for your ideas. Sometimes people try to, um, you know, try to appropriate ideas that are not theirs and get the credit for them. So just be aware of that as, as well. And this is find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? So it's a um, wonderful reminder to find your center to help you get the anchor. And again, it goes to stability, it goes to groundedness, and it goes into taking your, your own internal temperature. And then finally, let's see what we have for love. Romance, lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. So for those that are in a relationship this week, lavish them in whatever feels right for you. If it's flowers, if it's poetry, if it's a date night or romantic dinner, uh, all these little personal touches means, mean something. Taking your energy to devote to someone else is very meaningful in a relationship. So I hope that all the romantic Scorpios out there, um, I hope that you have fun on dates or with your spouse or with your significant other. So Scorpio, this is what I have for you for this week, an interesting reading uh, it seems like a lot of just daily kind of things going on, of having to deal with possible little bumps in the road, seven of swords, deception perhaps, someone not being totally upfront. And I would take heart with, take pleasure from thinking about your future and what you want to do. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great week. 
subscribe, like, share, or comment, and join me next.